I, I would like to probably see uh, be put off until we have uh, Brian and Kathy in. Okay, no problem. If you don't mind. It's just four of us tonight, sure. Yes. We will put this on the future agenda. And if you have any questions, let me know. Certainly, we'd be happy to do our best to answer them. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
these funds are not like the general funds where you end the fiscal year and then you start another fiscal yeah, year runs. and those dollars go into another, you know, the undesignated fund. That's not the way this works. These funds, as dollars come into it, if it was a windfall. That's what I'm saying. Well, we do get those. Down I understand. The debt. But can we let's say that windfall comes and say ten thousand dollars comes in? Can that ten thousand be out? You know, I know how you say it goes into the budget, goes mm -hmm. into their fund, and so forth. Is there some kind of a mechanism where that ten thousand or a good portion of it would go towards be allocated where it has to go towards the um, reducing the deficit? I think as far as bookkeeping goes, Carl, when there's a debt. Right, no, but I'm talking about the money that we get. Can we allocate that to be? You're saying it is. It, it is, yeah. It, so it, it is. It, it will is. go so always back to the it, back, to the rears. Because it has to, because, because it's what? Exactly. I'm just saying that in an accounting way. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I'm answering you clearly, but when, you, when there's when that debt that's due to the town is right. paid. Right, right. No, well, we have the we got that money, and that money that comes to the town. If we could just make sure that money's dedicated towards the deficit and not put into because we have to run, you know, we have pipe break or something else, right? But I'm saying that money would be, I want to see just like some kind of a, an instrument where we are paying that down, so hey, you know, where, where it's allocated. I, and, I know. Yeah. There are strict rules associated I'm sure with there how is how that money's removed, yeah. Be, um, for right. That so where in our budget or in their operating payments do they have a line that says payment of deficit or payment for money allocated you know for deficit? The, uh, sheet that I gave you? Um, that is kind of what you're looking for, right? Yeah, I mean, no. And it listed the, the, the accounts that yes. are due. Yep. yep, I got all that. I understand that. When those payments come in, yep. those payments aren't due anymore. And they, and they go into the water and sewer because they're water and sewer. Right, so, so I understand that. that. No. Yes. Well, yes. I understand all that. Okay. Then I'm not worried about I, I wanted to clarify that because I, for me, I... Well, I, general. I just wanted to make no, sure. No, no. I just, I just wanted to make sure that. No, I knew it um, went to water and sewer, but even that in their in their fund, that that money would kind of start being used to pay off the deficit. You know, uh, has to be used to pay the deficit down. It's like found money, so let's start using it to pay off an well, old debt. And they have to, since we're collecting it. If we collect it, it will pay off the debt. So, the, so I mean, it will help. And I know it'll help because we have more money in the budget. But, um, yeah, that was, uh, I just wanted to address that. And um, because I, I know uh, I know we've been running, you know, a deficit for a while. And so uh, as. And maybe, as we've talked about on this board, longer-term solutions that this board has to deal with. I know that Carl has talked at length about that. Because I just want to say, I don't. I'm going to vote for this budget tonight because I feel like the board has to. Yes. But I don't necessarily agree with voting for it because of the fact that I don't know if it's completely accurate if we're running the deficit every year and this is saying that we're balancing. Clearly, you know, that's well, not the case. And, and so um, we need, you know, to follow town charter. And I think that this is something that I really hope that the board will address this year. And I, and I think once one um, action that should occur is when we get, I know we've been doing this, um, every month when we get the reports from the finance department, they need to be discussed in detail. And once we get a one year behind our belt, we can kind of, next year, we'll see what yes. if we have to tweak this one way or the other. Yes. Is it? One of the things, I wish if we can, and I, I think I brought it up in the past, and. Um, if the board can somehow get maybe a couple days before a copy of um, of the numbers, is we can certainly make those available. Okay. If we can't, 
they're, they're not online at mm. this point because our software does not allow for that. But, you can't um, export to Excel or anything, though. I know you've asked that. I know. I always ask that because I do it every day they for can, my own job. They can be printed yeah. and um, scanned, I suppose. That's they're pretty big documents. Yeah, they are big documents. Um, or we can put them in your boxes. And it's you just talk. every time, you know, I, I'd like to give it the attention sure. that it deserves and, and you know, the and other I feel thing rushed. Can occur, and, you know, you can get it the week, the two weeks before. We could hand it out to you the, the second meeting of the month for a discussion. Review the, first the next one, yeah. It'll be not as up to date. Yeah. We give you the, the, the latest. We print it that day so that you have the latest. But if you wanted it, Previous to that, then you would have it would be maybe three weeks old, two to three weeks old. Hmm. Hey, let's start. Or we can put it in your mailbox, but you would have to come into the town yeah. hall uh, the week before. As long as you leave the lights on for us. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, on, thank you. Let's not change we anything. Have a thing audience. Let's, 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 let's not change some more. Let's vote for the vote. All in right. favor? All, All right. right. Mm -hmm. Motion carries. Thank you. So let me know how you want that to come. Mm -hmm. um, and the enterprise system is not as friendly toward producing reports as I know our finance director would like. To do. Mm, yeah. Because I could see myself swinging by on the Saturday idea. or something and just, you know, I looking it over idea. over the weekend, yeah. Then you know when you have questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, to the point about the water company in general and coming up with a long-term plan, we've talked about that, and I guess we've got <laughs> to come back. And, and, you know, got to come back and start thinking about it again. And I know we had talked even about a consultant something that uh, Brian was Brian saying. Uh, uh, that's not budgeted. It's not budgeted like this year, yeah. No, I, right. no, I know yeah. it's not. In there. I remember but we did talk about it, uh, uh, and it wasn't brought up as a budget item, so it's not a budget item at this point. But, but it is something we can turn to. Yeah. Okay, there, uh, letter D under new business. There is no refund of excess. Yeah, I think we just we just went over that quickly. We're going to uh, um, the selectmen uh, uh, and the subcommittee, and, uh, and Susan's going up. We're going to take a look at some of the uh, uh, some of our sidewalks, and, and just so we can get a hands-on uh, hands-on experience in terms of, of condition. Not that we're experts, but at the same time, I think we can look at a sidewalk that's if it's really in bad shape. We know it's in bad shape. Yeah. Decent shape, we know it's in decent shape. So uh, that's going to happen uh, on Saturday. Uh, that subcommittee will go out and take a look uh, uh, primarily at the uh, areas around the schools and also at, uh, as I recall, I, I had mentioned uh, a downtown location, um, um, down, uh, possibly on uh, East Main, the end of East Main Street by Freestone. Um, and then from that, uh, also talk to the Safe Streets Committee. They may have some further information, and they have certainly a strong interest in this. Um, and, uh, and we've talked to, uh, I know I've received some comments from other citizens in town who frequently uh, walk, the, walk the streets and byways of Portland. So um, from that, we should be able to generate some kind of a of a list of priorities, priorities and then yeah. see it. We can talk about uh, developing a plan. And then uh, along with that possibility of grant money, perhaps uh, safe streets can, 
can help us uh, with that some some grant money to uh, to assist us in, uh, in that infrastructure development. Um, and that uh, that was basically, I think, uh, I think what we said. Any, any additions to that? Is the is it just us on Saturday, or is it open to the public? If anybody, anybody wants to come, yeah, walk yeah. in. Yeah. Let them point out what they think, and yeah. we'll take notes. And what I like to do when we do the walk is like uh, just to see how bad it is at at, at what locations, and mm -hmm. then from there, like Fred said, we'll, we'll work on a priority list of what we think really should, you know, has to get done to to what can be put off for our, you know, next year, year after, year after, whatever. We do have a little bit of money this year, right? Yeah, yeah. twenty-five thousand. We have in there, and then you know, there's one thing I'll just mention now. I, I, I drive around thinking about this, and I did see um, some sidewalks were damaged, and I, you know, bad, broken, and I believe it might be the um, uh, property owners who have the way the use is, and they broke up the sidewalks. Yeah. And we got to see: are we going to be picking up that cost, or should the uh, individuals be picking up that cost. I know that's something we're going to have to talk about. But I think if, if homeowners or property owners are, are damaging those walks, it shouldn't be the town's responsibility. Yeah. And this looks like uh, there's some buildings and they had equipment where they were, both sides of the f sidewalk's fine. And then when they have their drive over to go there to their mm -hmm. back, back of the property, right. they're all busted up. So that's, yeah. they're driving over it and it's beyond the normal wear and tear of a, a regular walking on the mm -hmm. sidewalks. I, I, I think that as far as the, the town's responsibility, in, in most cases, I I think it's going to be the trees. We, we can tell that. Yeah, but no, no, the, trees yeah, are different things. In other cases, you're right. I, you yeah, know, I'm not talking about the tree work. Yeah, yeah roots mm -hmm. and lifting and that stuff, that's yeah, I that's tree stuff. I, I hear you. But I'm talking about no trees around, no nothing, but they're driving bigger trucks over right. all the yeah. time, and it's right, we crushed our sidewalks. So we'll see. That'll be the good walk. Yeah. Do you like my walk? That's yeah, a joke. Okay. Any other reports I just want to say just to um, about efficiencies and things I, I I just wanted to know what the um, the rules and regulations are on on lightings and things that I, I don't know if there's a way to fix you know um, some costs I know a lot of places use uh, motion sensors and things like that and um, and it might be a a cheaper option provided that we wouldn't be going against any rules and if you I know a lot of things are hardwired and that would that would obviously not be possible well, that's but why we have lantern energy do a survey that's we'll see what they say yeah, that's and true you authorize that mm -hmm. and they are moving ahead with a project of about twenty seven thousand dollars and hopefully um, as you decided we will proceed um, and see what kinds of savings we do realize sure. That's true, yeah. Well, while, while they're doing that, they'll be giving us some different reports and so forth, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah
as you know, to see what. Yeah, will they, right. update, they will update us as it goes along. Can ask them to I would yeah. like. I would like to see that. that. Yeah. yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'd like to see that. Yeah, because that's a good question for him. It's just, uh, you know, is that is that you know. And as far as the streetlights are concerned, we can get a summary of what the company believes we can save after they look at our streetlights and make a determination as to what can be changed out. They have to look at the age of some of those light heads. They have to look at the numbers of lights that we have. As well as the wattage, the size. In, yes, and putting in LEDs. It's not, they don't, at this point at least, the electricity is not metered for streetlights. There's a set no. rate per streetlight. Yeah. And um, there'll be a set rate should the town decide to buy the streetlights, which is far less than what um, the current cost is. But I think many, I know many towns Than, than five years ago, even and cheaper. Yes. Yeah, well, the, yeah, yeah. The cost is what's made it. Before they just couldn't get the, they couldn't get the the brightness out of the LEDs. They couldn't get the, they weren't really efficient for street lighting mm -hmm. because uh, they weren't they would wash out before they hit the ground. So I guess they do. They have been working on yeah. that. And when we do that, at the same time, I'd like to address the, the the lighting plan for the town so that we have the lights in the right spot and the lights that we don't need. Let's That's part of the project. project. Let's eliminate them. Yeah. They put them on GIS, so you know yep. That'd be where nice. which ones are doing. The yeah. lights are located, and then they can make a determination based on the wattage. If what we have as a plan works, I also have to remember that some of the lights are owned by the state of Connecticut on yeah. state roads, so those will be identified. And Maybe they also a note should be put in there that uh, if if somebody likes light and they do like a street light, well they can they can pay for it themselves. I mean it's not. I mean they can get the light. I would put that more as a question, Carl, because I don't know how that works. Yeah, they could okay. from before, unless something new yep. I don't know. has had in. You know that if they really want a street light, they could pay for a street light. Okay. And one other, the sure. lighting just triggered my, my recall on the solar lighting, which is saying just uh, the solar, the same technology issues prevail. In the last couple of years, um, cost it down a lot, and the efficiency of the solar panels are, 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 are much more efficient. And uh, I was, uh, when I brought up that point on Rocky Hill, for example, in their solar farm, it, I'd like to see us Again, take you know, take a look at the feasibility of having a vendor come in and make a proposal. Um, because I think anything that we can do to save money, we got to tr somehow try to get more, you know, <laughs> have a, a greater impact on, on our, our tax base. We want to develop business. I think most of us, and, and that's important. But if there are efficiencies or ways we can save money in other ways, I just as saying mm -hmm. street lights or whatever. Mm -hmm. Anything we can do, we should be trying to. Uh, what was the vendor that came and presented last time? Um, remember it was, uh, and they had the proposal for the high school? Edison? Edison? Is that Sun Edison? Yeah, I, I forgot. I, I, I know I had, I had concerns yeah. with that one. We had, there were a lot yeah, of concerns with yeah, that. The company I, was I, on the verge. I thought, it. yeah, it, it didn't seem to be uh, but realistic at the time. When, what was being proposed and so I'm wondering if there's you know because I'd be in favor of you know looking at that too as long as you know maybe there's some other you know companies other out there in town and many mm -hmm. cities um, put solar panels ground on to the landfills yeah the landfills mm -hmm. allows that now they didn't allow anything on the Hartford did this Yeah. We did upgrades in this building, uh, I think it was three years ago, you may remember. 
with the Voltaire's here, and I think also at the schools. We've done um, all of the natural gas and furnaces in all of our buildings. We are saving tremendously from mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And then also from the diesel that's your solid and then budget um, negotiations to reduce that cost. Um, we also look at our health insurance for our employees. Yeah. And we also had the cap on it, too, which I think is important for, for next yeah. year, too. So we're mm -hmm. not only looking at our media costs, we even look well, The cap up. still, I mean, the cap was how high it could go. It still Well, yeah, but up. the cap wasn't that, it was, well, the cap I think it was 7%. Yeah, but yeah. even what it can't exceed, that was high. It was a high number. Well, health insurance I don't think the cap is was. Very no, I know it is, but it was still like 16, right? It can't go above 15%. So, I mean, that's still a big jump for one year. So I mean, I, don't, I just don't know if you want to celebrate. Well, at least too much. No, well, no. I'm, some of the, what where they were looking at was over fifty yes. percent. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. It's, so it's and I, so we're low to begin with, and I mean, mm -hmm. even if they did that, we're still uh, your, net uh, savings. your net savings on a two-year. Your net, uh, we should say, Carl, our net cost avoidance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thing, yeah. yeah. I think when everything's should. going up, you know, going up half is still better than going up. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.